It was the mother's place. I believe she went to a nursing home. So the son came in, obviously trashed the place. You could see a crystalline substance. I found the milk from 1997. Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, uh, it's Fiona with Spalding Decon. So we're here in Tampa, Florida. We're doing a, as you can see, a hoard clean out. It was the mother's place. I believe she went to a nursing home. So the son came in, obviously trashed the place. He's getting himself taken care of right now, getting his medical help uh, to help him get better. And in the time being, another family member hired us to clean out the place, get it back to being like a home, so when he comes back, he has a good, clean start. Should be a one day job. It's a lot off fast food, a lot of easy meals, so to say, but a lot of moldy bad food just everywhere. As we were cleaning out our hoard, uh, this subject had a very extreme food addiction, but as we dug further, it also appears that yeah. he had a Dual severe addiction, addiction yeah. of another type. Uh, holding up a, one of these baggies, you could see a crystalline substance. More than likely, if we put it up against a test kit, it would probably come back as crystal methamphetamine. Uh, if we keep searching this hoard, more than likely we'll find other drug paraphernalia, pipes, needles, something of that sort. Aside from just absolutely atrocious eating disorder, I'm assuming probably along the lines of binge eating or something of that sort, you could see remnants of alcoholism if you look just to the left of you. Yeah, there's alcohol bottles all over the place. The bug infestation is extreme. Active smoker and he smoked inside the house when we first walked in. There were literally cups and cups and cups of smoked cigarettes. Pretty poor quality of living. As far as I'm aware, the individual who used to live here is now in a rehab center. And we wish them the best. Our goal is to help these people move to a better quality of living. Banana peels absorb odors, so it might be why this bathroom sucks too bad in scent wise. Well, look, the date's only 2020. The nastiest fridge I've done was my very first biohazard hoard. And that's where I found the milk from 1997. Where are you going? Where are you going? The milk? The milk? He's making trouble. Okay, get out of here. I've seen a lot of stuff on this job, but when it comes to the milk, that, that's where I lose it, man. I, I got, I've had bugs on me. I, f I fell into dog <laughs> But the milk, yeah. that's where I draw the line. Basically knocked me out earlier. Oh my God. Oh. Man. A little bit of everything about man. Oh, Roach. Um, I know it was, it was a maggot eggs, actually. Maggot larvae. Uh, yeah. Hey, the freezer's still working. That's why I don't stink. Yeah, it works. It works. It, it, that's why I don't stink. It's freezer, it's, the fridge still works, but anyway. Oh, 
What was that? Oh, God. This is uh, where the client has been living. Uh, we found meth baggies. We're still looking for needles and stuff like that, but uh, uh, the conditions of the room are pretty nasty. All right, that's just weird. Rare coin collection. Uh -oh. oh, looks like a sheep model sheep made. I think it's supposed to be a katana, but the craftsmanship is poor and everything else. It's probably just a cheap knockoff. But. See, this over here is what I like to call the leading tower of pizza. stays and then all the actual content stays but the actual furniture itself goes so everything gets bagged that's what they asked for I feel like it's more organized how it is but it's what they want Yeah, that's a good amount right there.
Chat. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna finish the refrigerator up. Actually, we got the counters cleaned off. The uh, client wanted us to save the, the dishes and stuff like that. We have some non-perishables in the in the uh, cupboard here, and they want to keep them because they're they're pretty in pretty good shape. I think most most of the issue is the refrigerator and the infestation, and we're getting on it right now. All right, guys. So we're wrapping up the day. Um, the only thing left will be a deep clean which will get done. But anything that's left here is what the client wanted to keep. So the client came, went through everything, and kind of picked what they wanted. Um, that's what's left here. So you can see it's a lot different than how it was when we started. You can see the floor of the bathroom. You know, you can actually see the bedroom itself. This bedroom wasn't that bad to begin with. It was mainly just right here in this bathroom. It's all completely emptied out. All the obvious trash is gone over here it smells a lot better it smells a lot cleaner we did put some products in the sinks and stuff just to kind of help the smell that was going on but all in all uh the client was actually super happy and impressed on how quick we were able to to make the dent that we did the hardest part today was probably going through everything right so because it's not just a complete trash out you have to be mindful of what you're throwing away you know, so what looks like obvious trash had important documents mixed in with it. So you have to be very mindful and conscious of what you're throwing away. You can't just grab and go. So that takes obviously more effort because you have to pay attention to that stuff. But other than that, it was, it was a pretty simple, simple job to be honest. So this one's not bad at all. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.